The modular Miras, developed in cooperation with the Selsen and Sefin shipyard, was exhibited at the Saha Expo 2022 International Defense and Aerospace Exhibition, organized by Saha Istanbul, at the Istanbul Expo Center between October 25-28, 2022. Two new unmanned surface vehicles with aluminum hulls started to be developed with the cooperation of a Selsen and Sefin shipyard in 2021 for the security of the Blue Homeland and autonomous reconnaissance surveillance, anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, and protection of baseport critical facilities and high-value surface platforms. With a ceremony held at Sefin shipyard on July 7, 2021, the block assembly activities of the autonomous and swarm-capable armed unmanned anti-surface warfare vehicle Marlin, which was known as RD-09 at that time, started, and the first steel cutting of the autonomous and swarm-capable unmanned anti-submarine warfare vehicle Mir, known as NB-57, was carried out. Sefin Shipyard unveiled its AS solutions for the first time. Malinovsk, which can be used for the protection of critical bases and ports and perform reconnaissance, surveillance, and patrol missions, and Mirasv, which can detect submarines with its onboard sonar and engage submarines with light torpedoes and ASW rockets, have been designed and manufactured to operate and communicate with Uivukiv and autonomous underwater vehicles. It is stated that these new generation approaches can alleviate the operational burdens of the Navy, thereby reducing operating costs to reasonable levels. Both vessels will be able to support long-term intelligence reconnaissance surveillance operations and provide effective support in missions requiring firepower of manned surface and underwater platforms. In terms of autonomous navigation capability, both vessels will be able to navigate safely on their own by processing the images of their surroundings using onboard obstacle avoidance systems, navigation radar, and electro-optical cameras. Both Mirasv and Malinovsv can move to the operation area on their own from the port or can be transported by cargo planes, military ships, or by road and transferred to their mission location. Both Mirasv and Malinovsk can perform autonomously or with remote control together with other naval units and successfully conduct missions with combat management systems in an integrated manner. Designed for anti-surface warfare, the RD-09 Marlin can transform from monohull to trimaran, form without trigger hulls attached to both sides of the hull and on which weapons can be placed. Thus, the payload capacity can be increased, allowing different weapons and systems to be used. The RD-09 Autonomous and Swarm-capable Armed Unmanned Anti-Surface Warfare Vehicle, which has two counter-rotating propellers driven by two diesel engines, has a cruising speed of 10 knots and a maximum speed of 36 plus knots. Marlin RD-09 is stated to have a cruising range of 700 Nm and can stay at sea for seven days. Although Mir has an aluminum hull and superstructure, part of the mast is made of composite materials to allow RF signals to pass through and not create a blind sector for communication systems. The total weight of Mir IDA is stated as 21 tons, and it is underlined that it can carry a payload of one-third of its total weight. Thanks to its high fuel capacity, Mirasov can stay at sea for an extended time and has flexible mission parameters. It can communicate with manned or unmanned platforms and cooperate with the Allied Command Center. Designed to operate in open seas, Mirasov is the first unmanned surface vehicle produced for the Turkish naval forces for anti-submarine warfare purposes, and it can be used in many different types of naval warfare. Designed for alternative weapon configurations that can provide high firepower, Mirasv is equipped with high-tech sensors, such as navigational radar, a Selsen SEA Icolangic Electro-Optical Reconnaissance and Surveillance System, a Selsen Coretta Anti-Jamming GNSS, a Selsen AMS 510D Inertial Navigation System RF Communication, 4G slash LTE Communication Unit, a Selsen Ku Band Satellite Communication System, Dipping Sonar, Obstacle Avoidance Sonar, Single Beam Metra Sounder, Diver Detection, sonar and automatic identification system. The self-protection of the Miras is provided by the Aselsan product 12.7mm Stamp 2L remote controlled weapon system. 
Miras will be able to operate within the borders of Blue Homeland without any communication interruption, thanks to its indigenous designed unique communication system that can function in the electronic jamming environment. Marlinos participated in the Retmus and Dynamic Messenger exercises, respectively, in Portugal. Marlin successfully represented our country, demonstrating its capabilities in the Retmus 22 NATO exercise, which was held on the Troy Peninsula in Portugal, with the participation of approximately 1,500 civilian and military personnel from 16 NATO member countries, including Turkey. Around 40 autonomous underwater vehicles, 18 unmanned surface vehicles, about 45 unmanned aerial vehicles, 16 ships, and one submarine participated in the exercise. Malinosov was the only platform that sailed out to sea on a day when no one could go out due to harsh weather conditions. During the scenario, which required finding enemy submarines, Malinosov was the only unmanned surface vehicle that succeeded in finding targets that simulate enemy submarines thanks to its onboard Sinobuo processor. While performing its task, Marlin also demonstrated that it can jointly operate with manned Navy elements on an international event. Marlin, which can undertake important roles such as electronic warfare, anti-submarine warfare and amphibious warfare, will thus be the first unmanned surface vehicle to represent Turkey in NATO exercises. The Malinosv is planned to be used in naval warfare operations for defensive and defensive purposes, on the coast or in the open sea. Able to perform critical missions even in the toughest sea states, thanks to its unique hull design, Malin can carry different payloads, such as guided missiles, light torpedoes, 12.7mm machine guns, electronic attack, electronic support, Sonobuo that extends the sonar range, and Todere sonar systems, in line with operational needs. Designed to meet the high speed, stability, and maneuverability requirements. Marlin is also considered to herald a new era in naval warfare. In this context, the surface-to-surface -surface and surface-to-land versions of the Kuzgun Kentucky missile, developed by Tubitax Sage, can also be fired from Marlin.